All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news into the atmosphere. That nasty man in Chicago is at it again, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Kelly, you know him as, I tell people all the time, I think Robert Kelly has a top three catalog all time, but he's nasty. All right, and a lot of times you got people like me who just can't listen to the music because this dude is so nasty. Now, this is a breaking news story from a lawyer by the name of Michael Avenatti. I hope I got that last name correct. Michael Avenatti, uh, about 40 minutes ago, made this announcement that there is a new tape. Ladies and gentlemen, R. Kelly went to trial back in 2008. We all remember the uh, infamous sex tape in which it looks like R. Kelly was peeing on an underage girl. Fast forward, we're in the year 2019. Michael Avenatti said about 10 months ago, he got a new tape, ladies and gentlemen, of Robert Kelly, that nasty man in Chicago is what I call him, peeing on another underage girl. This does not have anything to do with the tape that came out, what was that, like 10, 15, 20 years ago that R. Kelly stood trial for back in 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Avenatti says he has a new tape and which is 45 minutes long, and it's Robert Kelly with the lady that, again, a young lady that he that his attorney says is 14 years old. This young lady uh, is calling Robert daddy in the video. Uh, there are multiple sex acts during this video, and then the attorney goes as far as to say, towards the end of the video, you can visibly see a man that looks like R. Kelly. You can't confirm that for sure, but it's a clear video and, and at the end of the video, R. Kelly does urinate on this young lady. I want to read Robert Kelly's statement in totality that he, or excuse me, Michael Avenatti's statement on R. Kelly that he did release uh, a few minutes ago. This is what he said. Approximately 10 months ago in April 2018, my office was, was retained by multiple clients in connection with allegations of sexual assault of minors by musical artist Robert Kelly. Following our retention, we proceeded to thoroughly and quietly investigate the allegations through witness interviews and the examinations of documents, evidence throughout the United States. Due to the importance of ensuring justice is finally done in this matter, and because we are deeply concerned that Mr. Kelly has not been held accountable for his sexual abuse of young African American girls, whom are especially vulnerable, we have done so on a pro bono basis. Importantly, it, is, uh, it has now resulted in the discovery of significant new evidence conclusively establishing Mr. Kelly's illegal sexual assault of young girls. Included in the evidence, we recently uncovered a uh, VHS tape of Mr. Kelly engaging in multiple sexual acts uh, with an underage girl. This tape, which is clear, is approximately 45 minutes in length and has never previously been discussed or disclosed until recently provided to law enforcement. Importantly, this conclusive video evidence is not the same evidence previously seen and used in con connection with the prior criminal matter in which Mr. Kelly was charged, nor does it depict the same instance of sexual assault. Again, they're saying this is a totally different video than the one that was uh, first bought us 20 years ago. Further, the time frame of the sexual assaults depicted in this video is within the Illinois Statue of Limitations. That's a big deal. This attorney is claiming that this can still be used against Robert Kelly in the court of law today. All right. As part of our effort to ensure that Mr. Kelly is finally held accountable for his repeated sexual assault of minors spanning over two decades, we have provided extensive information, including the videotape described above and witnesses to Cook County State's attorney, Kim Fox in Chicago. Ms. Fox is an exceptional dedicated prosecutor and she has personally committed to investigating the matter fully we have full confidence in her abilities as well as those of her office we expect to continue to cooperate uh, with her and her colleagues as our investigation continues all right mr kelly is a predator and a criminal who has preyed on young vulnerable girls for far too long the time has finally come for him to be held accountable for his actions again that statement was from attorney michael avenatti who is claiming that there is a new tape present of Robert Kelly urinating on a 14 year older. Very disgusting stuff, man. As we all know, the Surviving R. Kelly docu-series, what was that, like a month or two ago, in which it premiered on Lifetime, and 
You know, a lot of things that people had assumed or speculated on in Robert Kelly were brought to life. You had a lot of accounts of a lot of alleged victims who saying, yo, this man, no, this is real. This is not a joke for the Dave Chappelle skits. This is not something that you want, we want you to use in your comedy stand-up tour. No, this is serious. There was a man out there that would promise us things as young ladies and tell us we go on a roll with him and become this big recording artist. And he uh, kind of manipulated our mind, brought us into his home. Uh, fed us took care of us babe well you know put clothes on us whatever you know and we didn't become that big recording artist and not only did that happen this man began this power trip with us and over time we pretty much just kind of gave in to this man and became shoot sex slaves that there's no other way to put it you know and again that docuseries kind of brought a lot of this stuff to the light and it looks like not only will that docuseries be some visual evidence if this tape is released by michael avenatti and company we will see if legal actions proceed. That's crazy. Almost like 20 years later, when the first tape of R. Kelly, it looks like R. Kelly, he claims it wasn't him and he did get off in the, in the court. Uh, he did not do any time for that. Matter of fact, I think he said it was his brother. That's crazy. Um, almost 20 years later, there is a new tape in the atmosphere. And again, Michael Avenatti says it's 45 minutes in length and you can clearly see it's R. Kelly, though he can't confirm it, obviously, just to cover his own back. But he says a new tape with R. Kelly, and um, he says the evidence of it, it's, it's, it's definitely clearer than the old tape, and you clearly see that R. Kelly is urinating on a young girl. We'll see if this bad boy is presented to light. I thank you guys for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.